Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Viking Wizard. I've actually got 12 CDs to show you, so this is my latest haul. I've got a lot to get through and some new bands, some old bands, some in between, some reissues and stuff like that. So the first band I'm going to show you is Obsidian by the German metal band Soulbound. They formed the way back in 2009. Now I virtually don't know nothing about this band. This came up on Amazon and it hard rock and heavy metal for pre-order and I seen the artwork and was like that really piqued my interest and I thought that looks really cool the artwork so I need to give them a listen. <coughs> so I actually went on YouTube and I listened to one of their songs and just purely from one of their songs I was like this is brilliant. This is definitely right up my street. So I thought you know what for like 11 talk wood i'm pre-ordering that like a shot i have listened to the album to and from work and um, quite a few times so i absolutely cannot wait now i'm not sure how many studio albums they've got out or a bit of the backstory about the band because i tried to look online there's no wikipedia for the band and then there's one site but it's all in german which i'm gonna have to try and find in english so i'm new to the band i'm not sure if they've got like five studio albums three studio albums or what i really don't know but this album brilliant so i can't wait to dip into their back catalog so i'm going to be looking for their earlier stuff so i can add that to my collection and dip into it but yeah i love this there's a track in here called forever in the dark and it's incredible if you haven't listened to this band check out forever in the dark because it's a great song if you like rammstein you like your um techno metal your german industrial metal and all that sort of stuff but these are english then you've definitely got to check them out because great band so i can't, cannot wait to dip into their earlier stuff now this these next three albums are from the band i'm actually wearing on my t-shirt halloween so German power metal formed in 1984, 1985 was Wars of Jericho, then you've got 1987 was Keepers Part 1 and 1988 was Keepers Part 2. I do have these in my collection but they're the 2024 remastered editions Digipack as you can see. They're reissuing a load of their earlier stuff and you get some extra stuff in it but they're the Digipack versions. And I was like, I must get them in my collection because I love Digipacks. And I've already got the albums. I've got like the original pressings and the two disc editions, but these are cool. So, um, Wolsey Jericho, I start with, and you get the disc too, which it just says the classic album, newly remastered and double CD, including Halloween and the Judas EPs. You get the EPs as well, which is absolutely awesome to get them. But I do have them, but the Digipack's cool. And then we have the classic album newly remastered on CD, including bonus tracks, Keeper of the Seven Keys Part 1, which is cool. And you get like four extra tracks. <coughs> then we have, <coughs> pardon me, then we have Keepers of the Seven Keys Part 2 with the extra tracks, which is cool. I've actually seen this band three times now the first time i seen them was the pumpkins united tour where they played like something like 25 songs or something like that and then i seen them was it last year i'd seen them and it was with hammerfall so i seen them in manchester and london they were absolutely incredible especially hammerfall one of my all-time favorite bands but this band were amazing so then we have this next one is dark tranquility their Swedish melodic death metal, and this is their new release. Um, what's the album called? End Time Signals. So they were formed in 1989 under the name Septic Boiler, which I genuinely don't know why they changed their name. And then from 1990 to present, it was Dark Tranquility. This is their 13th studio album, so there's a lot of stuff in their back catalogue. And 2020 was M Moment, which was their last one. I've actually unboxed that one on my YouTube channel. So if you want to check it out, it's on my YouTube channel somewhere. They're a great band. I'd love to see these live. I believe I haven't seen them, but no me. I've probably seen them at Bloodstock Open Air. And I can't remember, but I believe I haven't seen this band. I love them. So if you want to check them out, then you've got to um, check this album out i haven't listened to it yet but from what it says gothenburg's melodic death metal pioneers present their new album end time signals 
which I can't wait to get into this so I'm going in fully blind with the album I've not listened to nothing yet of it then this next one is German Power Metal formed in 2003 this is their ninth studio album so I'm not sure if you want to class Interludium which was their last release as a studio album because for me that was more compilation yeah you get some um, stuff on there you get like some new new tracks on there but you get a lot of stuff off some EPs and singles and stuff and this is Wake Up The Dead Wake Up The Wicked which is Power Wolf you get the second disc um, in this one where you get the live in New York City gig which is cool but you don't get the full gig there's only selected tracks from that gig because I know they played some like I think it was 18 songs and I don't believe 18 would fit on one CD because of how long they are so there's the digi book digipack edition I'll call it a digibook and it's awesome I haven't listened to this album yet purely because um, I pre-ordered it and it hadn't come through so I thought I want to wait and I want to go in fully blind so I can't wait to listen to this album super excited and this next one is the album's called Opera and it's from Italian symphonic death metal band formed in 2007 um, Flesh God Apocalypse and I can't wait to listen to this album this is their sixth studio album I don't know much about this band but friends were posting stuff on Facebook and I know a few friends posted about the upcoming album and they posted a, a couple of songs I don't know if it's from this album or if they're posting a couple of early ones but I listened to it and thought this sounds awesome and I thought I need to get the album I need to dip into this band and give them a listen to see what the fuss is about so the tracks that I've heard whether they're older ones or off this album they are great and I can't wait to actually give these a listen so I'm super excited so that's another band that I think I'm going to really enjoy and happy to add to my collection and this next one is Gods of Metal from the international heavy slash power metal band All For Metal formed in 2022 um, this is their second studio album because 2023 was Legends which was released last year and I loved it I've done an unboxing video on youtube of the um on my youtube channel of the album which i thought was awesome never seen these live they're playing at bloodstock open air next year so i'm super excited i finally get to see them and i cannot wait to give this album a listen i haven't listened to nothing off this yet so i'm not going in blind with this one but their first release was brilliant so if you check them out i do highly recommend if you like man of war and all that sort of stuff and say the us power metal and Brothers of Metal and that sort of stuff, you're going to love this band because they are awesome. Then we have the next one is The Million, which is from Simone Simmons. It's her debut studio album. I believe it's her debut studio album. It's a vocalist from Epica. Now, I haven't listened to nothing off this album yet because I'm going in blind, but the minute I notice Simone is releasing a solo album, I was like, I'm going to pre-order it anyway because I love Epic Art. I've got their, virtually their full back catalogue, I believe, I'm missing a, the score or something like that, the classical stuff that they've covered. So I'm just missing, I believe it's that one. And I think there's an EP or something, but I've virtually got everything of um, Epic Art. She's a powerful voice, fantastic singer. So I thought, yeah, I'm definitely going to pre-order that. But somebody says, Arjun Anthony Lucasen, features on this album and they said it sounds a mixture of um Arion and Epica and they said it's a great album so I'm super excited and I cannot wait to give this a listen really excited so I can't wait so yep that's another awesome album that's added to my collection then this next one is Swedish heavy power metal bands Dream Evil formed the wave back in the year 1999 this is their seventh studio album Metal Gods their new one I cannot wait to get into this album. I've listened to one track off this, which is Metal Gods. Um, they mention about Judas Priest and Iron Maiden and stuff like that, and the video is awesome. I can't wait to get into this album. So other than that track, I'm in, going in virtually blind. Their last studio release, I believe it was six, was their last one, which I thought was good. But this one, what I've heard of that first track, I thought I cannot wait. So yeah, I've got virtually their full back catalogue. I think I'm missing like any EPs or live release or something because I know I've got all their studio albums so I'm super excited to give that one the rest of the album a listen then this next one is Resurrection Man and this is the single from Bruce Dickinson which is off his um, 
album The Mandrake Project which I think that was released earlier this year so it's his second single and I can't wait to listen to this because you get Resurrection Men but then you get Afterglow Ragnarok live in South Palau and Abduction live in South Palau so you get a couple of live tracks but I pre-ordered this like a shop purely because it's Bruce Dickinson and absolutely love Maiden and I love his solo stuff so it was a no-brainer I think it was like 10 quid and or eight to ten quid, and I thought it's a no-brainer. I'm going to get this purely because um, it says you get some live tracks on release. So I thought I'm super excited for that. Then this last CD is right here, right now. Now I haven't seen the movie yet because this is a soundtrack for a movie. Love the band. I think I'm missing is it one studio album or an EP, and then I'll have their full catalogue. And this one is from Ghost. So yeah, I haven't seen the movie yet, but I've watched a couple of um videos and I've seen adverts and promos and stuff for this and I really want to see the movie. I didn't go to the cinema to see it, but I know I believe it's available for pre-order on Blu-ray, so I'm gonna be getting a copy and I can't wait. Never seen this band live, would love to see them. But yeah, it's just a double C D and a twenty page photo book. So this is gonna be cool and interesting to listen to. So I absolutely cannot wait to get into this. Um, I've seen all these songs and one of them is, it's this chamber version, so I'm not sure if some of these are greatest hits. Is that a mixture of live and a best of? I'm not sure because obviously I haven't seen the movie yet, but Love Ghost, fantastic band. Hopefully you get to see them live, but yeah, um, can't wait to get into that. So yeah, this has been my latest haul. I believe there was 10 CDs or 12 CDs there, so that's a lot more to my collection. So there's new stuff, old stuff and bands that I'm starting to check out. I love discovering new bands. So my good friend Bruce has just sent me a couple of stuff and mentioned about some power metal bands that I've never heard of, some early like 2000s power metal. So I've made a note of them and I'll be dipping into them, but I love discovering new bands. So I'm always seeing what my friends are playing, what they posted on the wall, what they're recommending. And then I go through Amazon and like every couple of days, I check in the hard rock slash heavy metal section and I find out what's available for pre-order, whether the CD is vinyl, and then it comes up with some bands, and purely from the artwork, I can be like, all oh, that artwork looks interesting, or the name piques me interest. That's when I go straight on YouTube, and I do the free song trick, what you usually do. I listen to free songs. If all free songs are not, I love these. I love the free tracks, and yep, I'll pre-order the album. If, say, two of them I love, and one of them I don't, then um. It's more than likely if I love the two, then I'll pre-order it. But if there's one song which I love slash like and the other two I don't like at all, I usually dip more into them. But if I don't like the three songs that I've chosen, random three songs, then no. I probably won't pre-order them. But now I've gone on Spotify and I usually look for the, the band and I look for their most played songs at the moment. And then three songs I YouTube them to see if there's any promo videos or something. Or give the free songs a listen and do it that way and then pre-order them if I like them. So it's a band I can discover and check out. So yeah, hope you all enjoyed this um, unboxing video of my latest haul. I'm going to be posting all of them on my YouTube channel. So hope you all enjoyed this. If you are new to this channel, if you would like to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell. All that fantastic stuff because as I said, it's mainly unboxing videos. But then I do show off my latest haul. Um, talk about the bands I love, show off tattoos, I've got my next one, going to be booked soon. It's not music though, because it's going to be my or my favourite football team, Manchester United, because I've been a fan for over like 30 to 35 years now, and love them even though we lost at the weekend to Brighton 2-1, which was a shame, but hope you all enjoyed this video on my latest haul, so Viking Wizards signing off, and I'll catch you in the next one. Have a good one, and see you later.